This is the second lesson on logarithmic equations, and so it really works with the same sort of concept that we did previously, but just shows an alternative method for solving some of the problems. So the alternate method to solve some equations works like this. If you have an expression, the log of x base b is equal to the log of y base b, um, we, can, um, we can solve these in a little more quicker, cleaner way. Now the thing you need to do is recognize that, there, that it is this type of equation. and It really comes down to the fact that there's no constant term. So there's no numbers plus 1, minus 3, or something like that. It's just the log of this is equal to the log of that. And if you do have this form, the log of this is equal to the log of that, then this statement will always be true x would be equal to y. So in effect what you're doing is you're dropping the logarithms. So let's do a few of this type. The first one, the log of x base 3 plus the log of x minus 1 base 3 is equal to the log of 2x base 3. This could be solved the traditional method. That always, always works. So you can always do that if you forget about this. But um, this will solve a little quicker. So we need to simplify both sides. The mistake a lot of people make is they just drop the logarithms straight away. But you can't do that. You need to have one logarithm equated to another logarithm. So we must first off apply the power property to the left side to give us the x times x plus 1 base 3 is equal to log 2x base 3. And at that point you can drop the logarithms. And just to drop them completely and deal with x times x minus 1 is equal to 2x. So it means you get to bypass or avoid totally the logarithmic to exponential form. To solve this one, x squared minus x is equal to 2x. We've got another quadratic, although it's just a two-term quadratic. So x squared minus 3x is 0. Factor out the x, and that gives you x bracket x minus 3 is 0. And then we get our two solutions, x is 0 or x minus 3 is equal to 0. And um, that would mean x is 0 or x is 3. The same rules apply, however, with respect to the check. You need to check both answers. So x equals 0, first off, is going to be an easy one. Most of you will know the answer right away. You cannot take the log of 0. So as soon as you get to this point, the log of 0 base 3, this one would also fail. It. In fact, all three terms are not going to work. But it, it only has to fail one of the terms. So we therefore reject x equals 0. Try x equals 3. And the log of 3 base 3, that's OK. And then the log of 3 minus 1 is the log of 2 base 3, that's OK. And then this is positive 6. So with go without going any further, I'm not checking my answer, I can say that x equal 3 is the only solution, barring any algebraic blunder that was committed during that question. Try a few more. Negative log x base 5 plus log 8 base 5 is equal to log 2 base 5. And the logger, the bases must be the same, but that's true for the other style as well. And I look at this and I see that there is no constant term. And as soon as I see there's no constant, I look for faster ways to solve these. So I will gather up the logarithms on the left and then the same on the right. So here we have the log of base 5 draw the little fraction bar. The 8 goes on top, the x goes on the bottom because it's negative. This could have been written log 8 base 5 minus log x base 5, which would have been easier to make sense of. But as long as you put the negative on the bottom, positive on top, you're fine. So one log is equal to another log. We can at this point dismiss the logarithms and just solve what we have. 8 over x is equal to 2 cross and multiply and 8 is equal to 2x so x is equal to 4. Check. I can tell by a quick look that this one's going to work because this becomes negative log 4 base 5 plus log 8 base 5 is equal to log 2 base 5. 
and that one is okay. So we're all right. So therefore, x is equal to 4. Try the next one. A little more complicated. This one would be a lot of work if we solved it in the traditional method. But for us, we can do it fairly quickly because simplifying both sides, because we're subtracting two logarithms on the left. And the same advice as I've given before, if you want to go ahead with this one and check your answer, stop the tape, solve it, and then check it. The log of x minus the log of x plus 7, we are dividing. The, using the quotient rule, we can write it out like this x over x plus 7. Note this is base 10, not that the bases are going to matter a whole bunch. And then on the right side we get 2 over x minus 3. And as long as we've got one log equal to another, there was no constant term in this one, drop the logarithms and we get x over x plus 7 is equal to 2 over x minus 3. cross and multiply and you get x times x minus 3 is equal to 2 times x plus 7. Distribute those terms in and we'll get x squared minus 3x is equal to 2x plus 14. x terms come over and we get x squared, subtract the 2x away, and you get minus 5x, and then minus 14 is equal to 0. So this would be x minus 7 times x plus 2. You can check that out, but it does factor into those values. Set them both to 0, so x minus 7 is 0, x plus 2 is equal to 0, we would then get x is equal to 7 or x is equal to negative 2. But don't forget, you must check. So beginning with x equals 7, we get the log of x, which is the log of 7. We're OK. Minus the log of 7 plus 7. Well, that's a positive value. We're OK is equal to the log of 2, well, that's no problem, minus the log of 7 minus 3. We're also okay there because that's 4. Those ones can be troublesome because if you, even if you start with a positive number, if you subtract a large enough number from it before you take the log, you might have to reject it, but not here. So x equal 4 works, or x equals 7, I should say, checks. And then we go after x equal negative 2, and most people um, reject it almost immediately. Because as soon as we see x log of negative 2, we reject x equal negative 2. So therefore, x equal 7 is the only solution. Take a look at another one. The log of x plus the log of x plus the log of x is equal to 27. Easy to make a mistake on this one because people, after they've got this alternate method done, they like to use it for everything. But in fact, this one must be solved the traditional way because of this 27. There is a constant term. So this one would have to be broken down simplified on the left side and then put into exponential form. So because we're adding these three together it means we multiply. So this is the log of x times x times x base 10 is equal to 27. x times x times x is x cubed base 10 is equal to 27. Even this looks funny. It doesn't look the way it's supposed to. 
But if you put it in exponential form, you get 10 to the 27 is equal to x to the 3. This is a type 1 exponential equation, so you raise both sides to the 1 third, and you get x is equal to 10 to the 27 times 1 third is 10 to the 9. And we do have to check, but I'm fairly confident this one's going to pass the test. Log of 10 to the 9, positive. Log of 10 to the 9, positive. So we're okay. So therefore, well, we've got the answer already written out. 10 to the 9, you could write that out if you wanted, but it's going to be many, many zeros. So that's the method, but be aware that you can only use that shorter method if you do have uh, no constant term. So it's all logarithms. Log of this equal to the log of that. No numbers floating around. Thank you for your time.